Hey, baby, Matt with a little cash home said. So, right there, my daughter Serenity is putting in the rest of the elephant garlic. So we put 150 here, and then we put another 75 here. That was uh, that will finish off the supplies that we have. So, what? Huh? Okay, so 71 then. So we put 150 there, 71. Uh, that puts us at uh, 221 potential heads. So again, at you know three dollars a piece, that's over 600 bucks that potentially we can yield from this. And it cost me 200 bucks to set it up uh, for the seeds and everything. So that's over 400 bucks profit. Now this will take all season to grow. But as you can see, it only took like six, about eight feet of space, eight feet by 50. So not that much room. We have all of this area here left for crops. We're gonna develop this in the spring. Right now, we're just kind of um, covering it up and letting it do its thing. We'll put more yard waste and stuff on that. And then we have the other gardens over there. And this one here, my son showed you in one of his videos. That I did till this because this was not previously developed. We just expanded it out, you know, so I till it that one time usually to get it um, nice and developed and get our amendments in it. And then what's left over there on that part of the garden, which we've taken down most of it, um, those peppers aren't looking so healthy. So we're probably just going to go ahead and pull those out. Yes, they are perennial. You can normally pot them up or something, but I'm not going to mess with it this particular instance. We'll just grow them again. And so we'll peel those up, salvage the uh, ground fabrics and everything, and start working on developing the rest of that. So this afternoon we're going to try and get this developed because I have a bunch of brassicas, uh, fall brassicas that I want to get in here. And so we're going to have to work on that as well. I also have insect screening and um, insect hooping that we want to uh, put in through here. So we're going to try and get the elephant garlic done. And then we're going to try and get this developed. And right now my boys are out riding motorcycles, which is totally fine. My girls are over there. You probably can't see them. Way over there in the back of my van. Playing with dowels in the dirt. And I have another girl who is climbing a log pile. Because <laughs> she's uh, very high spirited. Yeah, I see her over there. So that's what we're doing today here at the Little Cash Homestead. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Okay. So, come on, guys. Okay. Um, so, what's up, guys? We are gonna see what these kids, little homesteader kids, they're gonna go in the, in the caterpillar tunnel. Ooh, it is hot in here. There's that over there, spider. Good spider. Good Let's go, Oliver. Let's get out of here. Get there's out of here. Tomato. Tomato. Yeah, you get a tomato too. I'll show you there's a big tomato over there. That's a tomato you get. Get hay with a tomato. Okay, hold on. Hold on. John. Okay. It's really hot in here, guys. You walk in here and you... So John's little brother is going to have to hold the camera like this because he cannot hold it the right way how it's supposed to be without uh, pressing record or just blocking the camera. And we're just going to take this for Ryan to show you guys how it runs, how it does. I am actually wearing a bicycle home because... Go back. I'm going back and up in case I get hurt. Stop, sir. That's enough. Yeah. 
Chubby. Stop. Stop. You don't like cat. cat. Go back. I know. I've seen it. Way faster. Okay. I'm doing Haley right now. Yeah? I had to start it, yeah. Okay, so what we're doing is we're updating our irrigation. Um, one of the things that we did is we had water pumping in from just one end of the line. And I found that with some of these drip tapes, I would get more dripping at one end than the other. So I decided we're going to get a loop over here. And Dalton's running the camera, so he's going to show. So over here... This is a 500 foot tube of DIG 0 0.70 um, poly tubing. It's $39, $40 for 500 feet. And so to, to it's less expensive per foot to just replace your main lines than it is to buy all the little plug connectors that you would get. They're called OOPS plugs. Uh, then it would be to just buy oops plugs and repunch all your lines and everything. So we just decided just to get, we bought 1,500 feet, I think, well, of this. We what? We bought three boxes. So yeah, 1,500 feet. Or right. 1, feet. Yeah, so 1,500 feet. Each roll, we bought three rolls of this, and then we bought a bunch of these little compression connectors. The Orbitz connectors, I, I like those, but they're, they lock, and they're supposed to be kind of like a shark bite where you can squeeze them together and they come off, but they don't. So we're just using, these are just little push on compression fitting. So if you follow the line, don't look follow the line. So basically this is gonna be one section of garden, potatoes, garlic, different things like that. And so we just created a loop. And it's not a full circle because it doesn't necessarily need to be, but it needs to have two ends. So now when we run the drip tape, will feed from both sides to try and get even watering we're using I got these from Haas you can get them lots of places Haas had a uh, they're not particularly cost competitive on these but they have them and so we just got them from there I only bought I think 40 I'm probably gonna buy more next time um, but throughout the process we're gonna be reusing a lot of our connectors in this case, I am going to put shutoff valves on where this garlic is because as we expand this out, maybe I want to water some things and not others. But the reason that we're isolating these zones is because, for example, we had our tomato, pepper, eggplant house on the same loop as our potatoes and beans and on the same loop as our watermelons. So everything got watered or I had to go around and individually shut off all the zones. So what we're trying to do is set this up so that each garden area has its own irrigation loop. So I don't have to now. What that's going to do is it's going to take me from eight zones to like 12 zones, I believe. So we'll have to add another manifold and uh, add some more stuff there, but not really a big deal. And then so what Jose and I are doing is we're restretching. I, you can reuse the drip tape. That's no big deal. Okay, so we're just going to reuse it, trim it to size. I got a bunch of it that's also like some odd lengths and stuff and you can easily patch that together with like a five dollar box of hose clamps and a five dollar piece of pvc pipe if you've got enough lengths of it for it to be worth it after that it's like 70 cents a foot but i've bought four or five rolls of this stuff so we have thousands of feet of it so we're going to reuse every bit of it that we can that's what we're working on right now so and <laughs> serenity is sitting on the ground, hiding tomatoes under her leg. You got a speckled Roman and a um, new girl, I think, or maybe a Clementine. You got a speckled Roman and a new girl. And Jose's. And Jose's sitting over there for a minute. But uh, Serenity's been a big help over the over this weekend, and I'm just letting the kids eat the tomatoes and stuff. We're not gonna have tomatoes much Free range longer. on tomatoes? What? Free range on tomatoes? Uh, for today, yeah. Uh, you guys have already eaten most of what's I know, left. I didn't know that we could have the ones out of the tomato house. Uh, well, you know, the tomato house isn't going to last much longer, and we've been eating them all summer and selling them and everything like that. So, yeah, if you want tomatoes, go have them.
Thank you very much. Have a nice day. We're going for the tomatoes. This is probably one of my favorite crops out of the whole garden. It's just the tomatoes. Bug. Go away. Testing the tomato. Okay. Mm. Nice. That is delicious. Excuse me. Those are delicious. Sorry, I'm eating the second one. Think you're good though. We have my cat. So you think she'll like the tomato? You know you won't like the tomato. Tell me what you guys like better, cat, cats or dogs. I honestly call her Lily Nader. We think she's sick because she's a very active cat. Never lazy, nothing like that. But she's just been laying down recently, just sleeping. Just, just get that vibe off of her that she's sick. Okay, you guys ready to film? I can see Dad. That's good. That's good. That one was a fail. I would consider that one a fail, honestly. So, I'm gonna do a front flip. This is just all flat hard ground, so it's a little harder versus doing it off of dirt mounts and stuff. Number two. Second one, good. Let's go. And I want to ask you to try this because I haven't tried this combo yet. Heart roll, bring hands free, roll, front foot. Let's go. Okay. Now I can do another front flip real quick. There we go, that's all there is to it. Guys, so uh, we are going to be doing front flips and other things off of here today. Off of this dirt mound. And hold on, I got time to do Okay. And hope. We're going to be flipping off of here, okay? So it's not too big of a jump, not too small. It's about right to do a jump. We're just going to take it straight off. I hope you guys like the bed. That's my dog's cage, so. This is our dog's cage. This is where they take what we got to get locked up. Here we go. One prop is done. So we're gonna see what we can do. We're just gonna do a front roll now. So front roll right there. I'm gonna see if I can do a gainer. I'll try I don't do gainers very much, so let's see if I can do a gainer. Oh God, I failed that. Wasn't too bad of a fail. Still failed gainer. Okay. So we're gonna front hand, we're gonna front hand, uh, let's just call it off this now. Oh. And now, um, we're gonna do a front roll, except we're gonna lay back down and do a kick up.
And now we are going to go to the front yard and show you guys an another combo that I done before. Okay, so the entire time we've been living here, this piece of this post has been kind of in the way. And we're gonna oh watch it, because there is barbed wire on there. We're gonna see if a couple of motivated teenagers, one teenager and one preteen, can pull this thing out. My middle son seems to think he can get it out by hand. My second oh, oldest son is back, just watch it, because you're gonna sm smash your brother's hands, but Let's see how they feel about it. Can I try? To pull that out? I think it, I, it, I don't, you know, it's not a whole bunch of people job. I think it's just a couple people job. Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> That's right. Keep that up. You may not need to go back to the 90s to get rid of your teenage angst. Well, you just dig it out. Good hey, good idea. Here, Randy. Can you video this? Yeah. Okay, if you keep your hand over here, then you won't touch the screen. Okay. okay. You follow me? Okay. Keep it in frame, like this. Watch. Watch out. Look at my hand. Okay. I got a shovel. Okay. Two fingers behind, one finger above, one finger below. There you go. Um, we burnt out a stump. I'm going to put some classic tall fescue where we burnt it out. Because we filled it in with dirt. Hey. Do you want me to feel this or the other uh, you? Daddy. Yeah, babe. Want me to feel this or you? Feel them. Okay. We're making good progress. Nobody wants to watch me shake grass seed out on a pole. Move the. Huh. Maybe they do, I don't know. But I'm using an excessive amount oh, of grass cat. seed. I can't kill. Oh, you almost smacked yourself in the face! I saw that! <laughs> There's some poor spider right there that's almost been smushed like full of times. Oh, we're hitting the ground. Yeah, look, I'm Tarzaning it. Yeah. Okay, that's probably an excessive amount of seed, but so that's what? A, that's a lot of uh, grass seed. <laughs> I don't care. And one time I was coming over here, I went like this. And put a point at that. It's down there deep. Yeah. Whoever lived here before put that down there deep, deep, deep. Yeah. Watch it, I see a fucking trip to the hospital coming. Brenny, pay attention to how you're shooting. Okay? It's probably going to take a couple of days to get this out. No, they'll get it out in a few minutes, I'm sure. Teenage boys are full of something called piss and vinegar. <laughs> <laughs> Which basically means, I'll do it, I'll get it just because you said I would. That's <laughs> good, you said I would. <laughs> Oh, dang. Well, be careful, man. There's a <coughs> wire on there to slice up the foot. Rennie, look through the screen so you can get... Oh, I thought I was holding it in. If I wait enough, I could get it down there. Because I don't weigh enough to get it all the way down. Well, go have another sandwich, fat boy. <laughs> then you'll weigh enough. Spider's down there trying to crawl out. Like a spider. Try to, try to keep everything in frame, honey, okay? <laughs> Take a step back so you can get... There you go. Oh, we're getting sometimes, right. sometimes I just go like this and pull well, it whatever, out. just as long as it's a good steady shot, okay? I don't know why Dolph knows. Come on, Tarzan that. the monkey man. <laughs> Swinging from a rubber band. Here's his balls, now he broke his monkey balls. Move, move, move. Uh, that, okay, huh. let's keep it civil. <laughs> okay. Can we delete that part? Probably later, but I'm not going to. You're going to keep that in the video? maybe. I think I know how to get this out. Randy, pay attention. Uh, keep the keep the. I'm trying to get the bar part, but they keep on. In, in focus. <laughs> they keep on going like this, getting in front of the camera. Just kick it again. So that was all your issues, like usual. Mm.
Okay. Come on, Billy Blanks. What's your 90s, Tybo? <laughs> Come on, Tybo Master. Come on. Move. Can I try to kick? You can't. Um, <laughs> Katie, you need to get back. Okay, can I try to kick? Okay, here, let me take over this. <laughs> can I try to kick? Yeah, let Randy give it a try. You might want to tie your shoes first. I'm fine. Or maybe lift your foot in the right position to kick. Well, let her just do it, she and if she hurts... I'm well, fine! Back up, Kate, because... I just really think if I weighed more, I could just, like, lay across it. And... So have two helpings of dinner, Slim. Move, Kate. You're going to die. What? Oh. You ran nine times around the house at 40 miles an hour. Yeah. I don't think you ran 40 miles an hour, but you are fast. Hang on. I can't beat Tabitha so fast. Katie, you need to step back before you get kicked in the face. I'm faster than Jager. Oh, yeah, I'm faster than Jager. Faster, faster, faster. Oh, yeah, they're not going to get this out today. Xavier won the first one, then you won the rest of them? Uh -huh. Hi, come here. Come here, let me see your face. How did you get such a filthy face? We were running and stuff went... I know, but that looks like food. It's, yeah, we've been eating. And then we dirt. had one of the, uh, uh, the steaks. One of the steaks in the microwave? Hey, okay. Dad, look what dirt I know, i got to give you all guys showers. We're running super fast to do exercise. Just give up, guys. You're not getting it out today. we got to get it out. Why? Because it's been here forever and it's annoying. I'm the one who has to mow around it all the time. How's it annoying you? You also have a weed, or, weed eater at your access every time you want to use it. I have almost ran into this with the dirt bike like four times. You shouldn't be riding the dirt the bike over here, them. though. This part's the farm. Okay. I'm throwing them that. Wiggle that stuff! Move, move. Don't move. Move, Kate. <laughs> move, Kate. Move, Katie. Come on, Billy Blanks. Come on, Billy Blanks. Come on, Tybo Master. I got the hand spade. I'm not stupid, dude. Let me do the hand spade. Here, real quick, Jose. Um, put this back in that crate. Okay. Make sure you roll it up so it doesn't roll the top up like it was. Yeah. So it doesn't get wet. Excuse me, Katie. Look out, Kate. I'm going to run out of gigs before this post comes out. Oh! Get everything else. Don't even try to swing that one. I've had stitches before. Yeah, from a, from a tuna can. That you... And from was I cutting the top of my finger off. Okay, well I took you for stitches from opening a can. Okay, too many hands are in there, and I see an injury coming, and I don't want to go to the hospital. I really don't want to take you to the hospital either. I'll probably just super glue it shut and tell you to buck up. We had 12 times running around the house. So you and Xavier ran nine times, and you and Haley ran 12? No, all three of us. Haley started it again, and then we made 12. did it 10 times. Uh, nine times in three. Do you think running around the house makes you hot? Oh, yeah. Yeah. What about you? Did it make you hot? Yes. Haley, did it make you hot? Yeah. That's why we're trying to do exercising. Yeah, don't forget to fill in your gym logs for Conexus, okay? I know. That's so what tomorrow, I'm you got all kinds of activities you can put on your PE logs for... Running, working outside. Yep. We were playing... We were playing... A game, and we did running, and we're not, we did. Hey, buddy, you're not gonna be able to close enough to a deer to put that in their mouth. Besides, that really stains a lot of things. Those pokeberries. So can you just put it down? Cause it's already left your fingers purple. And uh, how does that go uh, in your finger already? What? How does that go in your finger quick? Kate, Kate. Okay, let's please with the pokeberries. You know, Daddy has to do the laundry, right? So I'm gonna say three things. I'm gonna write it down. I'm gonna write down. I ran, played the game, and helped you. Oh, okay. Kind of barely even helped you. Well, she helped enough. Well, it's not wrong. I can hold it now. You like those pork berries, Katie? They're good. I hate them. They're disgusting. Well, not everybody has to eat it. Okay, everybody back up, back up, back up, back up. You do, cat. Can't hold it. Let's see this 
Kung Fu Master. Oh, that would be more of a forward kick anyway. Come on. I think I have an idea. I don't want to kick it. I don't think you're trying. You broke down our front door with one shoulder, and you can't get this post out? Not a shoulder. I kicked it in. Uh, I don't know if I made a video about the reinforcements I did to the front door, but... <laughs> I don't like it. Jose's pretty strong. That's why I'm so mesmerized that this post ain't out yet. My arms are flimsy. Okay. Uh, ask nicely. She's a little girl. I don't know, I'm to but you talk to little girls nicely. Especially your sisters. Yeah, see? Because she just punched you back for not being mean. Or for being mean. Okay. <laughs> they get lost. Yeah. <laughs> Come on now. I say, why don't we just take, oh, dig up the, uh, this whole circle up and up and up? Well, because that piece of metal is v valuable, we could use that. How deep is this thing? I don't know. I didn't put it there. It was there when we got here. Here, Ren, you want a video? Yes. Okay. I love the video. Dad, now we did it 13 times. 13 more times? No, 13 now. Total? Or you did 13 more times? I did, did 13 more times. We did left. Mo! We did one more run that makes 13. Hey, That's right. 12 and one more makes 13. Exactly. Good job. We want to Go do run more. We want That's not enough. 39. Your feet yeah. hurt? You've been running like a crazy person all day. I can't. You've been, you've been running. I can't feel my legs. Like you stole the microwave. I can't feel my legs. You stole the microwave? Is that why you've been running so much? I know. You stole the microwave. Was it a toaster? No. It's hard to run with a microwave. Microwaves are heavy. It, did you run with a toaster? No. Well, you were running like you stole something. Okay, pull on me quick. You're running super fast to get exercise. You're running super fast to get exercise. That's a good reason. I <laughs> Okay. I can I I can already see one of them get hurt getting hurt right now. Well, that'll be on them. And then they have to go to the hospital. No. Only if they're bleeding. Severely. Yeah, because otherwise we got liquid band aid. And super glue. And, yeah, liquid band aid. And, <laughs> and duct tape. Yep. Keep the shovel out, kids. You're gonna cut someone's handle. Yeah, I right. Don't get too hands. close, right? Uh, so, so, okay, okay, so real quick, while they're doing this, I should just remind everybody, square up your shot there, girl, I should just remind everybody that three essential items in your Homestead medical kit should be duct tape, super glue, and liquid band -aid. Yep, best things in the world. Oh, and then you should add peroxide and rubbing alcohol. Yeah, those two. We live a long way from, uh... Sit the city. Well, not just the city, but we, we live a long way from it's a, from medical treatment, so we actually have a pretty extensive medical kit. Cage, you're going to get hurt. Move. Every time they kick, I have to go higher. But Stop. nothing in the medical no, kit no. will fix stupidity, so yeah. I have to try to mitigate that myself. I think the, the, they should stop. Oh, you almost plowed Katie over. Come on, Katie, back. Back. Kitten, back up. I just see if I can do it. Okay, the only contest is does it come out of the ground? Move, okay. Katie. Nope. It's coming out of the ground. More? Back up, Katie, baby. Katie, baby. Come on. Back up. You need some gloves. Yes, you need to back up. You're going to get hurt. He said, I need some gloves. Well, get some gloves. Here, use mine. I'm done for today. We did, did, we did 30 more. We did 13 all the way before. We did 13, and then we had 13 run four times. And that Dalton, look at the camera. Around the house four times. Dalton. Four times, and that makes 18. No, 13 plus 4 is... Uh, Try again. 13 plus 4, Caddy. What's 3 plus 4? 5. Plus four, five. Add 10. No. 3 plus 4 is 7. Add the 1. 17 times. Oh my God, we always go. are 18 and if we do one more run, we make 18. So go do one more run, because 17's an odd number. And I want to see an even number of oh, circles coming. around the house. Dang, it's coming out. Okay, Watch. Randy, I don't think you're aiming appropriately. Don't. Look, right here at the bottom, okay? 
Come to the bottom and look. I'm looking. I'm making. I'm making a see how it That's right. Pull. Get that hernia. <laughs> Do it. Look, Katie. Dalton, you pull that way with all your might, and I'm gonna push this way. I honestly don't think this is a good idea because I'm most likely gonna be dead after we do this. Okay, so I'll pull. Cadence, you're gonna get hurt. Kate, you need to get out of the hole, baby. This is a big boy job. You almost crushed mine. And although you are a very good helper for daddy and mommy. I hope you get the car thing. Watch out. Yeah, well, good job. About to kick. We're gonna let them try to get this post out. Teenagers trying to get a post out. Don't, don't. Okay. Okay. No, it's a little softer. I would ram it. <laughs> that actually flexed quite a bit, but I don't know if it was the post. Okay, Katie, baby, you need to back up, honey. So dig it out for a minute and then back up. Hi, Jose, say hi. Hey, why don't you What's get up? the machetes and cut it down? Oh yeah! It's metal. <laughs> 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 then for that, I, I heard machete and cut, and I was like, grab a machete. Yeah, I think we can use like him and knock it out on the side. Big more. If we, yeah, if we, we hit it to his height. Now you did 18. We can good. Hit it with, we can hit it with Never a stop on an odd number. We can hit it with a sledgehammer. Probably mm, pop out. No, I think you're. you're I think you're running out of film. I Whoa! Think, you're gonna. You know how gonna the get those came to my nut and nuggle. <laughs> Nuglet, lug nuts. Lug nuts. <laughs> okay, everybody needs to back up. What the, what the, what are you trying to do now? Dad. Wouldn't let me get you're running, I think you're running out of film. This is already one, 16 minutes and four, 43 seconds. Okay. And Dal uh, Dalton can't That's why there's the wonderful thing called editing. Well, right, but it's, the question is how much memory card do I have? When I cleared it out, you guys, I cleared out enough that you guys had like 10 gigs today. So that, I, don't, I think you probably shot up a good seven. Yeah, so we got to get it up before. Daddy. Okay, I'm going to pause here. We're going to see. The video? No, I'm going to just pause. Just like pull it out and then push it back in there. No, no. <laughs> Move, Katie. Move, Katie. Move, Katie. You're faking it to pause? Back, okay? Back. No, I did pause it, but then I turned it back on. <laughs> what? You tired? I ran too fast, I'm sweating. I well, catch your breath. damage a 22 would do to this thing. No, nothing. That 22 rifle, that thing don't care about 22. That's eighth inch. Um, uh, well, you got to think that, that bullets are typically lead unless you're using um, like eco shot or something because that is steel because it won't pollute waterways for duck hunting and stuff. So, but bullets and ammunition is lead. So, no, it's not going to do anything to eighth inch cold rolled. No, 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 that stump's burnt out. We're not doing anything else. Okay, put that down. Huh? Put it down. One, two. Yeah, I want to do another one and make 19. I want to try to do 23. We'll, do like, try to well, why don't you go to 20 and stop? Okay. Go do two more laps. No, three more laps. No, three more would make it 21. I can do like 100 push-ups, but this is hard. I want to go two, 29. So go do some running then, buddy. Cadence. You're never going to get 29 laps. I'm doing nothing. <laughs> but interfering and always stabbing us in our nuts. However you said the Junk. Part. Yes. Just say junk. Or wee wee. Or wee wee. That's what I call them. Okay, but junk works. Okay, okay. Junk is universal. It can work for boys and girls. I don't like it. I, and I call... Kind of reminds me of someone, when someone destroyed our tunnel. Oh. What tunnel? Oh, we had a... They like dug a tunnel, tunnel through the compost. Through the, and it was like a full tunnel. And he decided to get cocky and was like... He was like, oh, watch me. Compost. Yeah. He's like, watch me. It's a difference. He's like, watch me dig this Compost dirt. becomes dirt. I it's told Jose... A, it's half, half, I told Jose, half Jose, half don't pounds. dig that. It's going to fall. He's like, no, watch. It's okay. And he's laughing and digging. 430 and all pounds falls I got crushed under. Okay. I think you should focus on... That's barely a quarter ton. What are you complaining about? Ho, 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 ho. Come on. <laughs> okay, try pulling it up. Try pulling it up. Come on, get that hernia. Do it. Do it. Now fill the hole back in. <laughs> I'll go with that. You knew that was coming. 
Take that. Take. Don't just drop it, Thelma. Take it and put it with the other um, like the other T post and U okay, channels and stuff. Why don't you just? Hey, 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 Dalton. Why don't you just go get the grading rake and make it easy? Dad. That is not easier than taking a grading rake and raking just scraping everything back in there. I did twenty. Finally. Good job. Okay, go put that with the other C channels and T posts and everything else we salvaged off the homestead. Here's. What? Is that recording? Oh, absolutely. Oh, God. Ah, yeah. Please. Dalton, go get the grading rake. Where is it? it? You know where it is. It's in the high tunnel. And then you can just grade that all right back into the hole. Take the shovel and put it up, too. I'm super sweated. I yep. Okay, guys, let's collect all the tools. I did 20. And okay, can I have that? Using You're using that? Yeah. For tomorrow, if, the, uh, if I have a gym log, I'll do right my thing down. Yes, you have to write, every, write it write it down in your gym log, yes. And if you can't get... Um, Everything not the That's not the rake. grading rake, but... You're talking about the big one? Yes, yeah. It's called a landscaping rake. It is, but it, it's, the back side is a grader. So it's a grading that rake. edge, so you can grade right into it. Whatever, I don't care. Fill the hole, because if I break my ankle on it, I'm coming after you. Thank you for getting the post out, by the way. But if, if you don't fill the hole... It's dangerous. It's dangerous, exactly. Anyone it could hurt themselves. How did we even get? Why did we even try to get that out? Because I challenged you to. <laughs> and we're teenagers. And you're teenagers, and you're full of piss and vinegar. And the moment I say you can't do something, you, you want to do, do it. You're twelve. And yep. Oh, chop me in the freaking leg with a shovel. Are you going No, no, it's it's too late because they close at eight. So okay, we'll. Guys, let's go run for like six. Five hours. How far away? How far away? Uh, about an hour. Well, it depends. Uh, Menards is um, 40 miles, 45 miles from here. So it takes a little bit to get to, but everything's far from here. I know, but it's an hour away. Well, it's not quite an hour, but yeah. As the crow flies, which means if you went, oh my god, somebody needs to, you, you uprooted my apple tree when you threw that channel. You better go straighten out that apple tree right now. Wow, was they? Straighten that to. stuff out now. Make apple sure that grafting killer. knuckle is still above soil line. Apple tree killer. This part. Oh, grafting line. Grafting knuckle. <laughs> yeah, this is where the grafting knuckle is. This is essentially they take this and they they slice it and then they take a root stock and then they bandage it together and it grows back together. But man, you really messed up this tree, dude. Dad, you could still make it. Make what? Not at, no, because I'm not going to leave you guys to be running around the house covered in mud. I got some I bacon bits. Who has bacon bits here, Katie? I don't oh, know. Last ones were eaten. We don't have any more. They're all gone. You uh, hey, uh, please don't walk where I just put the seeds. Okay, guys? Thank you. Whack. <laughs> because there was a stump there, and we burned it out, and I just put a bunch of tall fescue on there so that it'll... Because uh, fescue, this type of grass... It, it, the root grows as tall as the grass does. So you let the grass grow really, really tall so it gets a really deep root, and then you cut it. A and it helps. That jumped out to it. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. That holds the, um, helps hold the dirt together so that when it rains, all that dirt doesn't wash out and we have a big hole there. What kind of tree is this? Yeah. Dad, okay, go. Dad, what kind of tree is this? Those are apple trees. Those are called columnar apple trees. Me too. I thought we would get apples off of these by now, but we haven't. We got four of these apple trees. We got two of the North Star cherries, and we got a bunch of random stuff up front. But that ground is not very good for growing up there. Okay, guys, roll it up. Roll it up. We do have a pear. What? Apple. Yep. What's an apple? Apple. Apple. Okay. Roll. Roll. Okay. Stop talking for just a minute, Tabby. Uh. Roll it up. Make sure all the tools are put away. Flip the wheelbarrows over. Get the uh, yard brooms and grading rakes and all the hand tools put back up. Did you put the motorcycles? Did you put the motorcycles away? Okay. And what else? What, what else was got out? Make sure all the sports equipment's put up. Baseball bats. If I find another wooden Louisville slugger in the yard, I am going to go BS crazy. I don't use that. I don't like wood bats. Jose uses that. 
The point is, it's sacrilegious to the game of baseball, and you never leave a Louisville slugger outside. No idea who, whatever that means. Are you kidding me? You don't know what a Louisville slugger It's the only. Baseball's a nerd game. Get away from me. They wear tights. They wear those tiny tight clothes and them short shirts that button up. Where have you been watching baseball? Romania? Wait, Aus Austria? No, they're little legs. <laughs> Go away. Dad, we have a pear tree. Yes, I know. That was here when we got here. It drops pears all the They're all gone. The deer ate all the ones that, that fell. And yeah. The bear on the tree. Okay. Well, they ate everything they could reach, too. That tree is so high, Daddy can't even harvest it. Okay. Hey, Roll it up. Let's go. Hey, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Have a good day. All right. <laughs> okay, so we also, we did get this irrigation done, our irrigation loop. And then we, we reused some drip tape. Uh, some of these drip tapes, they have um, punctures, probably because I punctured them um, when we were taking this garden down, because I have a tendency to take stuff down with weed eater. No big deal. We'll put some new lines in, or maybe we'll patch them up. And then I'll just use whatever we use. Smaller pieces somewhere else. That one popped off again. Um, hey, go ahead and shut this down.